<laughs> this is the Game 7 press conference featuring the Georgia Bulldogs. We are joined by Lacey Fincher and head coach Lou Harris Camper. Questions would like to begin with questions for Lacey, but certainly willing to entertain questions for coach as well. Start with Chip Towers. Yeah. Uh, hey, Lacey. I, uh, yeah, I'll start with you and we'll talk to Lou later, I guess. Uh, but just, uh, you know, such a uh, magical surge you guys had to get here. I, I know it's, uh, it's got to hurt to go out at any time. Um, but can you kind of put uh, the season into perspective? Obviously, this is a young squad and you're among uh, a, a bunch who, who could come back next year. Um, so what, what, what's the takeaway with, with what you guys were able to do in the postseason and get here? Yeah, I think we had a great, you know, a great season. We learned a lot throughout this season. You know, we had our ups and downs, but through our downs, like, we just took away what was good. What, what did we learn from in that, you know, game or what did we learn from in that practice? And we just kept growing and kept trusting each other and kept trusting our process. And I just think, you know, this team is gritty. This, that's, the Georgia Bulldogs are the definition of grit. And, you know, you have players like Mary Wilson who is just a baller. She goes out there every single day and gives it her all. Ellie Armistead, one of our freshmen, I just can't think anything bad about her. Like, she just is such a good player and such a good human and a just beautiful person to have on your team. As in, like, she just loves everyone. She loves loves the game, loves the sport. And, you know, I just – I can't wait to see what this team has for their future. And we're definitely going to miss our seniors. But um, I'm proud of where we came and where, where we're at right now. James Hale. Coach, great run and uh, everything that you had going at Georgia this year. I know that you've, you, know, you felt like you, you know, had to control the Oklahoma – offense in this game they got it going talk about your game plan because you know you're one team that had beaten them this year well it was a similar game plan uh but you know you have to tip your hat oklahoma is a very very good team they're very talented and deep uh wore us through a fantastic game today against us uh you know all i can say is i am just again like lacy said so proud of our team i think that you know, no one wants to come up short at the end of the day. Nobody wants to be sitting here uh, not getting the win. Uh, but what I can say is from where this team started to where they have ended this season, I couldn't be more proud of each and every one of them. And so thankful for Mary and our seniors and everything that they've done uh, for this program this year in their leadership. And, again, mostly just the way the team really just stood up in the face of adversity and continued to, to – uh, compete together to compete as one with great team chemistry. Yep, you have a question for Coach? Sorry, let me unmute there. Um, you know, God, God forbid I let you catch your breath here after the, this season has ended, but, you know, it's not hard to look down your roster and see, you know, uh, you know, 13 freshmen and sophomores and so many underclassmen in that, that starting lineup besides – Mary Wilson Avant, obviously that's a that's a big deal, losing her. But uh, is the takeaway here on on what, how important was this for the future of all these girls that are coming back and and uh, and and what are you going to do about pitcher next year, right? <laughs> well, pitching will come along. It, it usually does. Again, uh, you can't say enough about Mary and what she did uh, for our team this year. Uh, the way she really just put us on her back and and went to work. Uh, but yes, the future looks really bright. Uh, so many youngsters out there, uh, they have grown so much. Again, I can't say enough about the chemistry and the trust of each other and the want to with and for each other. And I think that is the strength of the team moving forward. And yes, this experience was amazing for them. And this team will only continue to get stronger. Mary Trammell. Yeah, Lou, you go back quite a ways with this tournament, back to the days of a uh, much smaller stadium. Um, <laughs> out there these last two days with the with the expansion of the upper deck. How how has the atmosphere changed? Well, the atmosphere is awesome. I love uh, the additions to the stadium. 
Uh, I can't, again, quick shout out to OKC and to everyone who has done this for the sport of softball. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, my first time here was quite a few years ago, and it was grassy hills down both sides and just a little stands in the back. You know, just it's come so far. Uh, love the commitment to the sport. Uh, it's only going to get better, bigger, and better. So much uh, is due with ESPN and all they do for our sport. And, you know, the venue's beautiful. Uh, I can't say enough about it. It has changed so much. Uh, the sport's really growing and just yeah, it's awesome for the sport of softball. Mike Griffith? Yeah, Lacey, you, you did have some success against Wars. Can you talk about what you had to do to hit her successfully and, and what, it, what she had working? It looked like four or five pitches just watching on TV were hitting their spots. Yeah, I mean, I give it to the girl. She's a great pitcher. But, you know, I just came up there with the mindset of do me, be free, and have fun. Um, you know, just kind of working my process, keeping a deep window, and getting my swing off when I can. Mark Weiser. Lou, uh, the Oklahoma coach was talking about how, how you guys are capable of hitting it out, you know, any time that, that you're at the plate. Obviously, uh, what, what was going on with the matchup today with that, that made it so difficult to play like that? I know Jaden had one to the warning track. Yeah, I, you know, I think, again, you have to say how Juarez pitched a really good game. Uh, she had a little different uh, game plan that she had the first time against us, uh, and you got to give it to her. When she needed big pitches, she made them. Uh, you know, I think we had a couple opportunities to break through, but again, when she needed big pitches, she made them. Eric Lopez. For both of you, when you look back at this season, this last year with everything, not only the challenges on the field, but even off the field with the protocols and everything, what will you uh, take from this year, uh, this incredible run uh, for both of you, starting with you, Coach? You know, I, I am so proud of the team. You know, that was difficult, you know, coming back from having to, do you practice a different way and really stay separated? And, you know, it was really weird early in the season where we had to, like, stand apart and stand in little pods. Uh, really just proud of the way that the girls, you know, stayed pretty much in our bubble. And then we were able to eventually move into just playing softball the way we always play it. But that was allowed because they were able to do such a good job off the field. Uh, again, it was an, it was a off year when it comes to that. It was just so different. But the joy comes in with the team and the way that they decided to battle together. And uh, I can't be more proud of the girls, the way that they handled the situation, the way that they've grown together through it, uh, and the way that they competed this season. Uh, this is Team 25 is a very special team. I've been telling them that from day one, win, lose, or draw. They've got uh, greatness inside them and greatness ahead of them. I see. Yeah, I would agree with what Coach said. It was really difficult at the beginning of the season. Just, you know, staying apart from your teammates and not being able to be in the locker room at the beginning of the season. And just throughout the season, we just got used to it. And we just said, you know, let's find a way to make this work, find a way to find joy on the field when we can and be positive. And I think we really did a great job of doing that. And it just, throughout the season, it just made us closer, even though we we're farther apart. And so I, I can't say enough about Team 25, and I'm just blessed to be a part of it. Any additional questions for Georgia? Yes, Mark. Lacey, does the uh, disappointment of this one, um, do you put that away pretty fast, knowing that uh, how far you guys have come this season and how young you guys are in terms of you know looking ahead to next year? Yeah, I think you can't dwell on dwell on the negative things. Yes, it, it's not fun losing, but nobody wants to lose. And I think that this team has great potential in the future, and we just got to keep our heads high and keep looking forward. I mean, I'll give another shout out to Mary Wilson. I, you know, I didn't want her to end like that, but she pitched a great game, and she just is a great person in general. She's going to do so many good things in life, and I'm proud of her, and I'm proud to be her friend, and I just can't wait to see what life takes her. Chip Towers? Yeah, for Lou, you know, I, the uh, great coaches get uh, – you've been here a bunch of times. You're you're a great coach. Uh, so, I'm wondering, you, you know, I know how bad you want to win this. I mean, you know, to get to the top step in your – so, <laughs> how are you feeling on that front? You know, is this, is this a building thing or you just take it year by year and – 
you're blessed to get where you are. I mean, uh, is that something that you're really, you know, chopping, trying to get uh, uh, that tree knocked down? Yeah, that's, that's the ultimate goal. And that's every year, you know, we talk about that's what we're here for is to compete for national championship to fight for Georgia. And I believe that this team has the potential to do that. Uh, we uh, control that destiny, we control our mindset, and we control uh, our ability to compete in that moment. And we will continue to grow and compete for that. All right, last question for the Bulldogs from Mike Griffith. Yeah, Coach, I was just going to follow Chip there, just as far as you know, what your teams take from these World Series appearances. You've had a few of them here in the last four or five years. How valuable is it to have been on this stage? I think it's unbelievable. It's an awesome experience, and it's only going to motivate the girls to go work harder, uh, to continue to grow their mindset, to stay positive, and to focus on what they want. And most importantly, I think the true definition of chemistry this year, you know, that it is something you fight for, it's something you cherish, and it's something that you keep no matter what. And I'm so proud of the team for their ability to stay focused uh, with great chemistry and to fight for and with each other. And I think that will take us uh, very far in the future. Lacey, Coach, thank you so much for all your time this week. We greatly appreciate it. And we appreciate the great role models you are for the game of softball. Thank you, thank and thanks you. for all you do for the sport.